Good afternoon. It's quarter to five. Ah, oh, so things are going okay. There's nothing, you know, fantastic about things right now. <laughs> um, the principal came by today, so today we officially let everyone know that the school was closing in Cambridge and would be no more unless things got different. So he explained why, that the numbers were too low and that it just couldn't be, uh, we couldn't support it anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, so having him there was more depressing than not having him there. We, I would rather just, we have said it to them and not him, but I guess he had to be official. Because people would be asking why, 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 and he's explaining, he explained very clearly why, why, why. So, why, why, why is over. <clears throat> he just um, made it more clear that my job is at the whim of those senior to me because he mentioned at one point that you know that I was uh, teaching at St. Benedict's and he said but you know that's that's at the whim of, of the uh, the process so if someone in the union who has more seniority wants to come to St. Benedict's well then I'm shit out of luck basically you really just don't need to hear those things. You know, it's like a slap in the face. I mean, why? I really didn't like that. I wish he hadn't said that. Anyway, whatever. It's my job at the moment. So a lot of my students, a lot of my students, a few students are seriously considering coming to evening classes because they don't want to go to Kitchener. They don't want to drive over half an hour to get into classes where if they go to downtown Kitchener, um, there would be no parking and it's over half an hour drive to St. Francis and it's just, you know, they just would rather not. So we'll see what happens. And the thing is, they won't get me as a teacher and they, they really like me. Right now, they're fixated on that. I don't think they should, but whatever. So if they want ESL, they have to go to Kitchener. That is patently clear to them now. A little cooler today. Um, it's only 21 now. It was, um, actually it was warm, and rainy all day. Now it's sunny. 21, not terribly warm. I mean, I went to school like this only because I didn't want to wear my jacket and I didn't get rained on, so it was okay. But, um, yeah, it's not, it's only, you know, June. It's gonna be warm. It isn't warm, not yet. But apparently it is supposed to warm up for Thursday, whereupon we will have our picnic. We're having our picnic on when Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. But tomorrow, we're gonna get ready for it. And so tonight, Stephanie is gone to get a few prizes that we will raffle off. And, uh, and that's it. So I'm continuing with today I did the listening assessment, yesterday I did the reading assessment. Those two are the only ones for this week. Next week it will be writing and speaking assessments. So, there you go. Alrighty. I have to get my phone. My phone. Yes, my phone. Yes, my camera. I have to get my camera. Make sure it's charged. Blacks is apparently going out of business in Canada. 
So they will be closing sometime in August. So our blacks has already closed a long time ago. But my one student gave me a, a blacks card where I have, you know, a few umpteen dozen of... I have a few dozen, a few... Yeah, a few free prints on there. So I should cash those in. So I'll take some pictures and get them printed off. Ow, that's loud. Okay, that's my, that's my, that's my mail. So there we go. Would rather have not seen the principal is what I'm saying. Yes. Not that he's ever really a great guy to see, but he tries to make a good, put a good face on it, but he's, he's kind of a did so. Yes, and not very sincere, not very sincere. Because if he were a good Catholic, then he wouldn't be running this service for immigrants on a money basis. He would be taking the money that comes from the governments and subsidizing the rest, as good Catholics should. That's what I think. Good Catholics should. Anyway, ta for now. Have a good one. I'm going swimming. See ya.